Tonight, California Governor Gavin Newsom is facing another recall threat. Rescue California served the governor with an official notice this morning. This is the same group that led that recall attempt in 2021. Chris Catalago broke the news this morning in the California Politico playbook. He's here now to talk about it. Chris, good to see you. Congrats on the scoop once again. Seems like you get about eight, 85 of those a week. <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me on. Uh, uh, it's all very fun. Uh, so what is the case that these folks are making for why the governor needs to be recalled after clearly voters rejected the recall a couple of years ago? So the case they're making is actually a very interesting one because it dovetails very much with uh, with Newsom's case for why it has to be defeated, which is basically that he's out there campaigning on behalf of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And these recall proponents are saying, one, that he should be spending more time in the state. Um, Newsom's folks are looking at this recall and saying they're trying to take one of the Democratic Party's most uh, proficient and uh, powerful surrogates out of the game and that these are a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, Trump Republicans trying to meddle uh, with the presidential election. There are some other reasons that the proponents give, including uh, the fact that the state is in a, a big budget hole as we speak. But as we know about these these budgets, they have to pass by this summer. And so that one is going to be a tougher one to carry forward if they don't get the uh, the signatures in the next few months before the state budget is passed over the summer. So last time there was this massive effort to get the signatures, which was helped tremendously after we here at Fox 11 uh, posted those pictures of him at the French Laundry. We saw this just rocket ship of signatures after that. Um, is there any reason to think barring something like that, that they would even get the signatures, much less uh, defeat him with a recall election. Yeah, you're right. That coincided uh, with a, a huge burst of signatures that they were able to pick up. We also have to just remember the general political climate in the state. People were uh, in their homes. Their kids weren't going to school. Uh, they were just upset and sort of fed up and, and really wanted to look for somebody that they could blame for that. And, and I think that that went far. There were also some really technical reasons uh, that allowed that to qualify, including these emergency orders that the governor had um, had put forward, uh, giving um, the recall proponents basically double time based on a judge's decision that they could go out and get signatures. So that was a, a really crucial time for them. Um, and just lastly, um, they did do a big paid signature gathering uh, push as part of that campaign. What we know so far in this campaign is that they will not start that way. Um, they will be doing, uh, they will not have these signature gathers out in front of malls and, and, and stores gathering. So it, it's, a, it's a much more uphill climb for them this time. Meanwhile, the governor himself on Meet the Press yesterday launching an ad campaign, not in California, but in Tennessee talking about abortion rights, and this is sort of doubling down on his using some of the money, including money he raised during that recall, uh, to talk about what's happening in other states. Yeah, you and I recall very, very well a couple of years ago when uh, Newsom stood out in front of that uh, uh, Planned Parenthood and said that his party wasn't doing enough in the wake of the, uh, the leaked Dobbs decision that Politico reported on at the time. And I think since then, he's certainly, um, you know, patched things up with the White House and, and, and obviously gotten on board with them. But there's still this kind of gene that he has where he's looking around the country, looking, uh, trying to look around the corner, look for ways where he could not only sort of get himself out in front on the issue, uh, but also kind of reinforce the party uh, in some of these red states where they have very few uh, folks on the on the legislative side, a lot of the time Republican trifectas, abortion is banned in these states. And so I think he's trying to rally Democrats. Newsom would probably say he's sort of putting his money where his mouth is. Um, and this is sort of in the same vein that he's done these billboards in the past. Uh, obviously, we saw the DeSantis debate and taking on Florida. And so it's it's basically trying to put the party on the offense. And he also, as you say, over the weekend, did compliment the president and the vice president for uh, for aggressively campaigning on this. And this has been an issue that has won Democrats uh, elections up and down the ballot basically over the last three years. 
Well, Politico's California Bureau Chief Chris Catalago is the guy to follow if you want to see the breaking news on all this because he almost always has it first. Uh, Chris, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much.